Hey guys, it's Adam from Castle Bros, and I am back with another LEGO Star Wars uh, video. And today I'm going to be doing special for our 50 subscribers. This is going to be a 50 subscriber special. And because so many of you asked to do this, I am doing uh, how to build the Imperial Troop Transport. Th there has been at least 20 comments on that video. Um, the video that I made, the mock of this thing that's right here. There's been at least 20 comments asking me for building instructions. I said no, maybe later. So, but, what can I, it's our 50th subscriber, so I might as well do it. So, here it is. So, this isn't a showcase, this is just going to be how to build. And I know that if you go up here, you can um, do the building guide. But it's kind of weird in the fact that if you... Um, it'll, it'll place bricks and it won't even be connected. It's kind of weird. But, whatever. Um, so yeah, this is it. And if you want to check out the actual normal mock showcase, I'll leave a link to that in the description. So, yeah. Let's get started with step one. Hey guys, here's step one. So I'm going to be, um, technically step one isn't really a step. I'm just here showing you all the parts used in it. Not the number of parts, but just the parts. So you can get a quick look at all these. I'm going to do a view just to give you more in depth of what they are. Now I will say right off the bat, some of these you don't have to use the exact colors. It's just preference, what I did. And these printing part pieces, you don't need the same type of those. I mean, there's a lot of things that you could do with this. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the actual step one. Alright, so here's step one. What you want to take is you want to take a 2 by... I believe that's a 2 by 16 uh, white plate and a 2 by 4 white plate. And just put them right next to each other. Next, what you want to do is you want to... Um, uh, you want to have one space and every... As you can see here, this is basically what it is. You have two plates, and right here you have these pieces, the upside down snot pieces. Just put some 2x4 gray plates. And you can see the positioning right here. It's just uh, like a 2x2 two two away. Um, and there's one behind this, so it's like one. Then uh, there's three studs in between each one, as you can see. And they are level with it, as you can see. Alright, so they're level with the ground. Alright, what you want to do next is you want to cover it up with these plates. doesn't have to be in the same color again. Um, as you can see, we just placed it right on top. Um, there. Oh, and this is just a reference model. Um, so yeah, just placed it right on top. So yeah, let's keep going. Alright, our next step is just to add some of these pieces in to give it the nice front shape. Um, we have one of these, or we got four of those in, and we have six of these. Alright, and then we just kind of circle them around, you see how they're built. Alright, so, yeah. Alright, let's get on with the next Alright, what we did here for the next step is, uh, we did a little bit more. Um, we added some of these 1x16 bricks over here with a 1x1 right here. Um, we added a 1x2 brick there and a 2 brick high 1x2 uh, brick there just to give it some height. And we had a 1x2 plate and some 2 hinge pieces right there. 1x1 one one hinge pieces. Alright. Alright, for next up. We um, added some more bricks, as you can see, 1x2s and 1x4s. Uh, we added a new stack, um, a few 1x4s right there on this line with these little cylindrical bricks. And that happens every four, as you can see it's on the left and the right, it's, but it's not on the left side. So, yeah. And then there's those there. And then we added these cheese slope, double cheese slopes. Alright, what we did this time is, um, 
we built this little assembly here, which is a few uh, two by three plates with some of those um, uh, bar holders right there. Right here we have uh, some one by four plates with some grills on it, and uh, you just attach this right here to these two little clips. Whoops. Right there. Alright, so you see where we're going with this. Alright, um, our next step, what we did is we added a few more parts. We added some of the windows. We've got a 1x2 translucent bricks right here, as you can see how they're they're placed. This one hangs over a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, we got some one by one bricks right there, kind of fill things out. And we add another layer of brick right here, just like the first layer. We got a one by one, uh, one by sixteen. Added some more there and to the other side, as you can see. So there. All right, all right. For our next step, um, this is very important. <clears throat> So we added another layer of brick yet again, but this time it's a little bit different. Instead of having these, we added these um, one by one snot bricks, as you can see them, without with those little grooves and they're level with that. And we had some two by fours just like that. We made this up higher. Up here, we added some of these one by three slope pieces things, um, some of these, and some of these one by three tiles. Um, so yeah. Let's get on to the next step. All right, our um, our next step. What we did is we added some plate detailing on these little. Oh, whoops! Forgot. To... Um, um, we add some of these grill pieces on those little snot bricks. Uh, we added some plates here. We added a uh, one by ten, I believe, that goes across. Um, two one by twos, a one by eight. And smooth then some plates over here there is a gap in there but just to save pieces um, I guess you could put something in there if you wanted but yeah that's it all right so yeah. all right next what we did is we made a little assembly here with just um, two of these uh, in the opposite directions a two by four smooth tile in the middle with a four by four plate on the back we're just gonna drag that and we're gonna place it right there just to kind of give the back some detailing and we also added um, a, a 4x6 right there and a 1x6 plate for some stability and we added those inverse or upside down uh, those snot bricks so yeah um, let's get this out of the way for a second Alright, um, next what we did is we added some more bricks, uh, a few snot bricks, this, this, some slopes, as you can see, right there, right there, right there. Um, then we added two 1x4s right on top of each other, 1x2 right there, and some grill pieces right there. Um, so, yeah, let's go on to the next Alright, so here's our next step. Um... Alright, let's see what we got. We put some grills on either side on these uh, snot bricks. We added a uh, 2x6 over top to cover it up. We had a 2x2 two two smooth tile. Um, two of these on either side and some of these circular bricks just for some detail. Then right here we added two of these on either side of this. And we added a 1x4 uh, smooth tile on top just to smooth things off. Alright, so um, in the next step we did some interior stuff. A good bit too. Um, we got one by 2 brick here. We got a jumper plate with one of those levers there. We have a 2 by 2 tan. We got one of these on either side. Excuse me, my brother's in the bathroom. He's just making sounds. Uh, there's a little canister there. 2x2 two two cylindrical, another seat, and a 2x2 two two brick. Um, so let's get on to the next one. Alright, so our next step was a little bit larger as well. Um, um, I think I actually had this brick before, right here, in these two spots. Um, move it back one, actually, so it's up against this. 
you want to add one of these um, with the thing going up as you can see you know what I'm talking about add the hinge thing back here we added a targeting system one of those pieces uh, one by two window piece just for like an on-screen thing and one of these up top so that if it goes across the top it's all level um, and what we did is that we made this this little assembly which is one of these Technic pieces I guess you could use anything and then one of those blue pieces that just fits um let's get that in there um that just fits in there like that just to add some cool detailing we added a top to this right here um right here we made a little bit of a dashboard with a two by six we did a bunch of printing and stuff on it um so yeah you can make that any way you want to really uh, and you just want to attach it just like that and you want to rotate this back um, I don't know how far back you want I guess you could do that that, that looks pretty cool just like that um, so yeah let's get on with the next step alright so our next step what we did is um, we started making the roof to the front we took uh, the 4 by 10 um, gray plate. We added some details on the top, like uh, one by four, two by two, two by two, one by four. Uh, circular parts. This angular piece. Just this is all in one assembly. As you can see, they're attached by just two studs, so you can pull it all off as one. And we added some grill pieces right there to add some more detail as well. All right. So in this next step, um, we didn't do much, but uh, we had a uh, one by four or a two by four smooth tile to the end of that. Uh, two one by four smooth tiles right there, and then we added some uh, one by two plates on the bottom of those. Not this one. It's supposed to have like a little hole in there to get through. I don't know why, but that's just how the real thing is. So you can see just how that works. Then we added a six by ten base plate to fit on those four studs, and as you can see, you can get access to the interior from there as well. Um, in our next step, uh, what we did, we added some more details to this. We um, one by six smooth tile there, two by six circular grills, and this uh, turntable right there. That's where the turret's gonna go. Um, you can see it's already turned a little bit, but um, I guess it doesn't matter for now. And our last and final thing to do is to build the turret. Um, so what we have here is part of it. We have one of these pieces. Um, those round pieces. It's kind of at an angle just because it's meant to fit there. We have one of these. We have two of these, right, as you can see. Um, we have two of those half and half uh, rods. We got two of those grill pieces. We got a jumper plate with the stud on top to accommodate one of these pieces just because it's kind of like grooved in there. And we have two of these guns which are made simply by these Technic pieces all put together as you can see one of those uh, one by three or three long right there um, rod with one of those just want to do this on both sides just like that then all you gotta do to top off this amazing mock is to slap that on actually there's one more piece that you have to add let me just grab it right now I uh, guess I forgot about this earlier going to here um, I guess this is optional but is what was on the real mock so I'm gonna do that yeah these pieces which are right there and right there so now we are officially done with the mock um, again guys I'm going to I uh, hope you enjoyed this video um, please leave a like subscribe and um, uh, keep watching our videos and come to our channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.